third degree? No, no, I just, uh, just wanted to say police is a nice place for dinner and dancing, that's all. Well, the bathroom certainly the place to warn you, though. They require ties. I think you're bound to keep the jacket. Mm -hmm. Jacket, ties, shirts, and pants. Don't forget this jacket. How, um, how late does this place stay open? For what? No, thanks. For dancing. Oh, about midnight. Yeah. There's the music every night? What is this of you two? Why don't you go call up and ask? Well, we know you've been there recently, and since Sean had that party from everybody from the brownstone. Well, we certainly were there. You probably not to dance for the storm that night. <laughs> really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we weren't looking at a watch or anything. I mean, it wasn't as if I was going to turn into a pumpkin if you leave by midnight. Right. right. Well, I definitely am going to have to make reservations. Thank you. Yeah. Tell them, Fred and Jason. Fred and Ginger. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's too late. Uh, we're probably not already knowing that place is Fred and Ginger. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing we found out. The longer you stay, the more room you have on the dance floor to make a fool of yourself. Right? Is that the way it was uh, the night of Donald's party? Yeah, it certainly was. <laughs> what is this? Oh, he had to leave early. He was uh, had to go to the hospital to pay. Oh, too bad, you know, he couldn't have uh, taken hand to hand on him. I'd have taken a lump on the head, you know? Yeah. Really bad about you know, in uh, you know, Donnelly must have been pretty bummed out that all his guests had to cut out of his party like that, huh? Well, just serious circumstances, it couldn't be healthy. I had to hang out a headache, and Grant had to go see a patient at the hospital. As I've already told you, speak to patients. How is it going to tell me today? Oh, he's doing great, man. He's doing great, thanks. Tony's really proud of it. As a matter of fact, we used to be all right. What was that? I see ghosts slamming the doors or something. Really? I thought ghosts always went right through doors. Usually, yes. <laughs> well, for sake, I have done enough of my landlord bits for today. Oh, who are you here? Oh, Grant. Hey, listen, don't try to slam these doors on your way out to this apartment. None exist. Okay. The body keeps reminding me of. Right? Maybe I can convince her there really are doors here, and we can all walk through them. <laughs> I'll see you again. I'm gonna think about what you just said. Thanks. Let me know what you come up with. Okay. <laughs> well, then I would like to check out books, Jake and Bob. You need to mark them off the set. Thank you. What about Grant's solution? He just, he just said that Grant left. But for all we know, Andrews could have left the hospital and come back without anybody knowing about it. Don't forget what Robert said, right? What? Anybody who was at that dinner is a suspect and should prove another one. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Then I've got to go see Kevin. Um, Why him? Well, you just said that anybody could be a suspect. Well, I mean, why do you have to go and personally see him? I mean, what's wrong with talking to Terry first? Well, Terry just went shopping. She'll be back in a little while. But I thought since you work with Josh, that, that you could talk with I Josh. know that I work with Josh. Well, you can question Josh and I can question Kevin. Isn't that it? Yeah, that's fine. Just watch it. Okay, I'm not. Because I don't trust that guy. Come away from the lab. Good, they're probably needed on the 6 o'clock news. Hi, Andrew, how you doing? Hi. Hey, hey, hey guys, how you doing? Derek, how's, how's it going? going? Oh, no Everything's problem. great. Yeah? Good. Uh, stick around for a minute, I. I want you to look at the script I have. I'll be right back. Great. Oh, sure, boss. Well. Mm -hmm. You know, Josh, I, I want to ask you some advice, all right? About what? Women. Women? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Where'd you get that idea? She's been talking to you. Oh, well, you took it to the side room, I mean, didn't you? Yeah, but, you know, Dolly took up the tab. I just can't follow that up. That's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. You see, Felicia wants to go to the Versailles room, and I don't know whether I ought to take her or not. You know, she's leaning on me. I don't want to seem cheap, right? But then again, I don't want to give in to her, you know, make a habit of it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not in Donnelly's league. That must have cost a pretty good penny, you know, the whole night there. I wouldn't know. I, I left before the second one. Why'd you leave early? Well, I, I didn't say early. I just, you know, I was getting late. And, well, you got to take Terry home, though, right? Of course I'd you choose my day. Yeah, well, I just thought that, you know, maybe Donnelly was muscling in on you or something. Come on. He's old enough to be your father. 
What kind of what kind of mood was he in? The usual, you know, perfect coat. Cool as always, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, you know guys like that, their minds are always a million miles away on business and stuff. You, know, you, you never know with Sean. He's yeah. him. He was pretty much pretty much like that. Was he jumpy or funny mood or anything? Sean was Sean, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, why are you asking me all these questions? I'm curious. Well, yeah, so am I. But what? Are you trying to pump me for some other reason? No, oh, Josh. Come on, man. We got sidetracked from the main main event here, right? I just want to know how to handle a woman like Felicia. Yeah. Did you have a date with him to have a fire? No. I mean, it was mostly brownstone crowds, so... You know. Oh, including Terry. Mm. Yeah. Why did she have a good time? Why? Didn't she have? Well, you didn't ask the question. Well, I don't understand the question. Well, I have my reasons for asking. Do you mind letting me in on your reasons? Yes, I got it. Well, look, Felicia, is this some kind of a problem, Terry? Oh, no, it's not only Terry. Is some kind of trouble? Well, it could be. You can't make it easy. Look, Felicia, you can just relax a lot, Terry, all right? Is with me all evening? Oh, yeah. Almost constantly. Uh, and you, uh, you got home about the same time? Uh, well, we went for a long walk on the waterfront after the party. Oh, so then you're probably out very late. Yeah, yeah, we were out really late. Oh. I guess sometimes you come up and cross me off the list, huh? No. I mean, are you kidding? You don't mind being on my list? I didn't. I mean, I, I thought I was on your list. Oh, man, that will hold me through. Oof, I gotta go. Okay. And I'll, uh, I'll see you. Yeah? Okay. Kevin said he was with Perry most of the night. Kevin told you that? Yeah. He said he was with her till the end of the evening and they were out very late. Okay. Somebody's lying here. Because Josh told me that he was with Perry and he got her home at a decent hour. Do you think he's telling the truth? Josh has never lied before. Why would he want to lie now? Just without me, why would Kevin lie? Oh, Terry, you're just a person we've ever just seen. Right. Oh, well, it's nice to be wanted. What's up? <laughs> well, um, this one I've been trying this special night out, and, um... Oh. You just wanted to make it perfect, you know? Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. We're just thinking of, uh, dinner for the fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, that's special right there. Well, that's what we wanted to talk to you about. You see, the night that you and Kevin were just the son, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, it was, oh, it was perfect. A big excellent, cool music, everything you'd want. Only, I didn't go with Kevin. Really? No, I went with Josh. Oh. Oh, well, that was my mistake. Well, um, Kevin was there. He tagged along with Josh and me, but he certainly wasn't my date. Oh, well, no, but, you know, we just wanted your opinion about the Versailles. Oh, okay. Thank well, you very much. Well, you guys have a blast. Oh, I'm this way. <laughs> Why would Kevin lie to you? Hmm? Well, he didn't exactly. Well, what are you talking about? He didn't exactly. What do you call it? He said that he took her home very, very late to the end of the night. Isn't that what you told me he told you? He said, Kevin was just trying to impress me because he didn't want me to know that he didn't have a date. Well, that sounds stupid. I don't think it's kind of sweet. Sweet? I think it's psychotic. Look, you stay away from that guy, do you hear me? Yes, I will. Well, where are you going? I'm going to go change, and I'm going to show, and I'm going to read these robbers. The Coleman call. 